What's up? Thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update here as to what's going on with both channels. Um, some people on the other Shadow of War channel were asking me what happened to the content and where it went uh, because I seemed to get a little bit active. What actually happened was my graphics card, my 1070, was hitting power limit. And we couldn't figure out why it was hitting power limit. Let me very quickly, give me one second. Alright, I'm back again. I went and opened the window so it's brighter in here so it doesn't create like a bunch of fuzz. Um, so basically, pretty much, what essentially happened, uh, my 1070 was hitting power limit really, really bad. I contacted uh, EVGA about it. And I told them, hey, this is a second-hand card. I did buy my 1070 as a second-hand card. However, it was in perfect condition. It wasn't even opened. Like, it was still in the package and everything. Uh, basically, what happened was this guy was going to use... He bought a bulk of 1070s uh, off of a website, and he was going to use them to crypto mine. Okay? Well, he then proceeded to buy them, thinking, you know, whatever... Uh, when he got his electricity bill in the mail, he wound up finding out that he can't support it anymore or else he's going to lose his house. So he sold the 10 set, 1080s that he currently had crypto mining, which I didn't want one because obviously. Uh, but he had these 1070s, which he had ordered to replace the 1080s when they died out. Uh, but he stopped crypto mining, so he basically just got these graphics cards and sold the game codes that came with them. Uh, he, they were digital game codes. When he bought them off the website, gave it a game code. Like Fortnite or something like that. But the packaging was sealed. Everything was good. And I explained that. I called EVGA. I explained to him. I said, it's hitting power limit. Uh, but when I downclock the core clock and the memory clock in MSI Afterburner, it runs fine. So he says, it sounds like it's not taking the overclock. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it sent in and you'll have an RMA unit. Now, the issue with this is, in order to ship where I'm at to California, because that's where EVGA is located, you have to pay roughly 25 bucks or so for shipping. That's for seven days. So, to get it overnighted or two days shipped would have been 90 or or $100. Literally, that's not even a joke. Like, I asked her, I was like, how much would it be to, like, two day or overnight this? She'd be like, well... That would be almost a hundred dollars. I was like, I can't afford that. So that's been shipped off. It'll arrive at EVGA this coming Wednesday, and then they'll look at it, take a look at it. They'll send me a refurbished. It will be a recertified and refurbished unit. And he explained to me why uh, they are no longer producing brand new 1070s at EVGA. They're done making them, so that is why. Now, they're, they're making, I think they're still making new 1070 Ti's, I think, uh, but they're done making regular 1070's brand new, and he said they will receive it, they will send me back a, a refurbished or recertified unit, and I will have it back, and he said, he told me, he said, if there's any issues at all whatsoever, uh, reach out, let us know, etc., stuff like that, uh, if you want to, uh, record, because I told him how my experience with, e, with uh, Asus and he said, nah, he said, if you want to literally record you opening the graphics card, putting it in the system, and showing us that it's still hitting power limit. My my system is completely capable of handling the w what's put on it. So we could see right here, if we look at my system, it has a 650 watt power supply. So it should be able to handle anything I throw at it. Uh, and I know it's not, I know it is not the fact that my computer can't handle it because I had the exact same stuff minus the power supply when my friend let me borrow his 1070, which was an MSI, and it never hit power limit. There was no issues. It never hit any power limit or anything like that. But this EVGA 1070 is hitting power limit for whatever reason. So they're going to take a look at it. They're going to send me back the graphics card whenever they're able to, and then I'll get it back and hopefully be able to make content daily. I literally have nothing. I got no graphics card. I got nothing. I don't even have a capture card. I got nothing. So I can't produce any content unless it's like stuff like this. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. By the way, I just want to shout out EVGA customer support. 
best customer support I've had to deal with, literally not even a lie, that I had to deal with when it comes to PC stuff. I literally, I can recreate the situation and the conversation within less than one minute. I called, he goes, how can I help you, this son so He took my name, my number, my information, and then I, he said, you know, what's the issue today? And I go, my 1070's hitting constant power limit, etc. He goes, well, you are a second-hand owner of it. And then I explained to him that it was brand new, wrapped and sealed and everything. I made 100% sure that it was brand new, wrapped and sealed and everything. He goes, okay, what we're going to do is we'll just RMA for it. We'll just RMA you for it and get you another one. I go, oh, really? And he was very upfront with everything. He didn't beat around the bush or anything. So it was great. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.